Oh my god. Fuck. There's gonna be a skeleton just waiting for me. Hey guys, this is Dirt Dragon, and uh, welcome to my playthrough of Super Hostile number 14, Waking Up by Vex. Uh, last episode, I just got the Magenta Wool, and uh, now I'm just going to be collecting supplies from these chests, uh, and I'm going to be getting out of here. So let's not take everything, we'll just take things we need, or things that are already in my inventory that stack, that works too. Gold, enchanted gold armor. Oh, I'm gonna put this stuff on right now. It's probably getting a bit cocky, but whatever. It's gonna be so nice. So we have feather falling, protection, and respiration, but meaning, but it's not gonna last very long. So we don't want to get hit by anything. Ah, uh, we have a sword and a bow and arrows. Yes. I'm so excited because of all this. It's so awesome. Uh, that leather can stay there. This sword I want. I don't really need the sand. Uh, I can do with the wood though. I'm gonna put these signs away. Uh, I don't need. Uh, I don't need spider eyes. I don't need the nether work because I already have some. Um, I don't need this one piece of pork. Ah, uh, I can take this flesh because I have space for it. I have space for this brick, so I'll take it. Ah, uh, this axe I don't want yet. Um, I have two cooked pork chops, so it's actually maybe worth taking. I don't need these bones. Uh, experience potions. Uh, these gas are really, really loud. Sorry about that, guys. But Actually, yeah, you know what? I'll take this head. So, yeah, that's... Oh, there's more stuff. Even more. Oh my god. Uh, actually, I don't need that. I'll take this. I will take these. Because I have arrows already. Mm, what else? I'll take these bricks. Because I have some back in my house. And that's all I'm going to take from here. Well, I hope to god that nothing kills me. So yeah, let's just get our safe route out of here. It's a good thing I have a safe route. Yay, this took so much time to get, but it's so awesome that I finally beat. I'm actually gonna eat pork chops because I have pork chops. Yay! My iron sword, my bow, my gold armor. I'm ready for anything. Not really. That would suck if I just got killed. That's the only issue with those ghasts. Uh, let's not fall in lava at all. And let's also never, ever have to visit this place again. Let's not jump in lava or something. There's gas and creepers over there. Yay. But, yeah. Actually, one second, guys. There we go. Just starting my timer. I was a bit excited. But that slime can do damage to me. And, uh, we want to keep this armor in perfect condition for now. It's just, right now, it's my protection to get the wool out. My, my tooth is really hurting today, I don't know why, but if I'm not talking very much, it's because my tooth's been hurting recently. This is a slightly different time. It's later in the day from when I was recording the first, like the earlier episodes. This is, uh, I'm probably just going to record this one episode because my mouth's hurting, but why not? I'm just really excited that I got the wool. So, uh, we're going to take a preview. We're just going to gather all our stuff out. Stuff, this is just a... Uh, I don't even know when I do this episode because I just got my I, I got I accomplished something last episode. Really great. Um, probably gonna stick all my items in chests. Just do a sneak peek in what the next area is. Uh, that lava bucket's so helpful. Like, I wish I got that a long time ago. We never have to enter this place again. Uh, oh, I wish I kept those signs so I can just put like a huge ass complete sign. Hmm. Stick this wool with my other wool. And actually, let's make myself two more chests. Uh, two more. Well, one more double chest. Let's just go with that. Uh, there we go. 
just throw everything and just toss everything in the chest because why not? I don't even know what I have to do with that comp actually let's take my gold armor off. And in case of emergency only, let's stick this in a good place. And let's actually put this iron armor on. And leather armor. And I'm gonna use this sword. Sharpness it has sharp back. Wait, sharpness and knockback. So let's also put this potion away. Uh, let's keep our lava bucket with us. Do we have more armor we can put on? Or no, we don't. So actually, I'm going to make myself some armor. Here we go. Let's, uh, leather and... I remember this combination. I've had this same, le this same armor combination before. And I died and lost it. So hopefully it's not a repeat. That would suck. Here we go, we get some more mushroom stew. And let's get in here. Here we go. So actually let's get some torches. Those are those are uh, a must. I'm like, let's just run in here with no torches at all. Let's not be prepared. Sixty-four torches. Cause I feel like I'm somewhat protected. Here we go, on our way. Sharpness. Whoa. Bunch of stuff in here already. This means that my little intersection home is not safe right now. More torches. More killing things. I really need some building blocks, actually. So... I'm just glad there's not an insane amount of creepers yet. Except I probably should not have said that too soon. How much knockbacks on this sword anyways? Uh, knockback one. So, it's good. Oh, no, that's skeleton not shooting at me though. Hey, hey skeleton. Am I actually out of their range? You think these monsters knew something? They were smarter than you would think. That AI. <laughs> I'm just glad I don't see a stupid amount of monsters yet, meaning that there's probably not very many spawners if there are any. But knowing Vex, there's probably some spawners around here somewhere. There we go. Uh, place another torch. S kill a skeleton, and then let's look over at the zombie and kill him. This turned from a preview to a full-on, let's go out and conquer this area. Which is what's happening so far. I'm just really glad that I got that really, really, really stupidly difficult area already done with. I'll uh, place torches everywhere we go just to help prevent some spawning. There we go. Helping prevent some th little amount of something. That's fun. Come on, monsters. Oh, I'm going upwards. That's definitely not safe. Uh, come here, creepers. I want to kill you from... Whoa. This is a huge cave. Yeah. Jump out, you bitch. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm actually going to go back and get an enchanted bow so I can do a little bit of extra damage with the same amount of arrows because I'm actually just really close to my house so I can do that type of thing where's my enchanted bow of awesome mess flame, ah oh, that works shine some light on these creepers I really need to actually get some building blocks shortly Creeper. I don't want to waste any arrows, so I don't want to risk missing anything. I need to work on my blocking skills.
I really need to work on blocking. Sorry if I don't talk at all. I'm just trying to concentrate on winning. Because, you know, that's what I do. Uh, I'm a winner. Because what will I be anything less than a winner? So, let's just go in here and kill these creepers. So many of these guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, thank you guys. You just... That one creeper just cleared out his basic entire population. population. <laughs> Hold on. Now you need to die. Oh, look, you dropped the bow. Thank you. Thank you for that, skeleton. I like how I haven't had to make myself a single bow throughout this entire thing. Well, of course, you're coming towards me, zombie, aren't you? I like how I'm wasting my enchanted sword. Actually, I wouldn't consider it wasting. Whatever. It's being productive. Wait, how did that work? You fucking just... Pack or creep. Pack or creeper. Slowly getting light. <laughs> kill you, zombie. I kill you. I kill you with my sword. My sword of awesomeness. Come on. Let's hug the wall. Come on guys, hugs, hugs the wall. Whoa. <laughs> I lean backwards. I'm like, I'm gonna lean backwards for my monitor, because that's gonna help. I'm swear I'm smart guys, I swear, I'm smart. Looks like there's a little area up there, right just up ahead. Whoa, there's so many, there's so much stuff everywhere. So far, this is a really empty room. Oh, I think I have to go underwater. This is gonna be fun. I hope. I hope it's gonna be fun. I don't really want anything to kill me. There we go. Uh, let's go on. That says diving helmet. Yay! <laughs> we get a Vex brand diving helmet. Because, you know, anything that's made by Vex is wonderful. Skeletons, the only thing bad about them is the uh, knockback sword against skeletons is not that great. I hate how I'm not regenerating, that sucks. But whatever. Mm, I think we just killed everything in this little area. But the map's this area is just barely starting. Uh, but we haven't had any deaths in it yet, which is an indefinite improvement over the last area. I died pretty quickly back then. We have a diving helmet. That's nice. Uh, what's over here? Is every single one of these just diving helmets? Yeah, everyone's a diving helmet. I guess that's if you die. Is this entire place down here underwater? Um... That's... Oh, God. Okay, this will be fun, I guess. 
But what I'm going to do... Oh, I need to... Mm, just so we're not in 100% darkness, let's actually... There's silverfish. That means... Shit. Are all these blocks silverfish blocks? Yeah, these are all silverfish blocks. Oh, God. So we're going to be in the darkness for a while. Uh, that silverfish is drowning. I'm actually going to break up these glowstone blocks. Just so I can make a little bit of light. I have a feeling this is just going to be an underwater maze. So, the only risk of drowning. So I'm going to use my torches. I'm going to use a torch trick so I can get some air. But this also has aquafine. Yes, meaning that I can break blocks on the door. Let's make some glowstone. Let's not waste this because this stuff's going to be very, very precious to us. It appears I'm going to... Um, sorry guys, it's probably really, really just insanely dark for you. Let's go over here. Uh, okay, let's come over here. Near this wall. I do a torch trick. I wonder if I can make a little underwater area of something. No, without killing myself. Here we go. Cover that off, and here we go. Uh, probably not much at all for you guys, but this is a silverfish block, isn't it? See that? There we go. I hope this isn't a silverfish block. Okay, it's not, but I just let a bunch of water in. Yay. Hmm. Let's place that there. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm really sorry to all of you who probably just can't see anything. So this is probably not going to be a fun level. But, yeah. This is just horrible. Oh, my God. Like, really, Vex? This, this, there's levels of fun, and this is definitely not any of them. Oh, I have to go up here. Is there a surface? Of course not, there's no surface. But there's also monster spawners, creeper spawners, which means there's going to be creeper suicide bombing me. Or they're trying to, and I can't do anything because I used my glowstone back there. So there's going to be ceiling creepers in a second. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of scary. But, I don't really like being underwater like this. Is that a skill? Are there underwater skeletons? Or is it just a creeper exploding that damaged me? Like, I'm so confused now. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Guys. This might be a bit fun. Not really. I don't have any blocks at all. And are these silverfish? I doubt. I doubt it. Uh, I doubt. I doubt they saw fish. But the eggs that I'm actually going to light up probably extra. Oh my god, there's so many underwater creeper spawners. Okay, this is just bad. This is just... Oh god. Oh god. Dish is horrible. So what I'm going to do is underwater... What's... Those two torches mean that's my exit. This is like a ticking time bomb in this map. Everything's underwater and it means like it'll be difficult for me to torch it up. So, uh, yeah, I really wish I had some building blocks. Hopefully these creepers don't start uh, trying to swim up to me. That would just be bad. Mm. I don't even understand how this... Well, I haven't read the Andy Buchanan books waking up, but... I don't understand how any of this has anything to do with her books. Like, it's just, it seems like it's just Vex trying to kill me. And I, it, it's not that I don't like that, it's just kind of, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I think I should read the book. I'm probably going to go out and buy that book. So, yeah, Vex, you did a good job, I guess. You're making that person money. And I'm running out of torches very quickly, and there's already creepers following me. 
And they're swimming upwards. Yeah, I, I see why this is going to be really hard. I'm probably going to uh, leave and try and get back to my intersection house without things killing me. And I'm also going to need a lot more torches. A lot more torches. Oh my god. Like, I'm just lighting up around the outside part. I need to constantly look down to see if there's any creepers underneath me directly. There's the skeleton that they can shoot shit at me. There's spiders spawning underwater. Which, it's a good thing that spiders swim slower than you. So, yeah, I'm probably going to leave this little area and return in a little while. So, uh... So many monster spawners, oh my god. Wow, this is just insane. Oh god, I don't have any torches to torture, so I hope we don't drown. I'm getting close to my little house. My hearts are about half of my little water checkpoint. Whoa, let's not swim upwards that far. Um, yeah. Wow, this, this place is just insane. I want to see if I can find some glowstone and place it. There we go. Breath. The breath of life. I like how Minecraft, with this respiration helmet, you last so long underwater. It's just insane. And then it takes like a second for you to breathe. You just like dip your head through and you can breathe. Wow, spiders are following me apparently. Okay. Or they spawn in here. They probably just spawn in here. But uh, it's a good thing I have a bunch of diving, diving helmets because uh, I don't really want this thing to break. That would just be scary if it broke while underwater. Apparently I didn't light this place up enough. Stuff spawning. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to get a different sword going. Don't want to take any damage to this this helmet. Or else I'll be stuck in that room. I also need some blocks. So, but I guess all that will be next time. Because, uh, I'm running out of time on this episode. So, uh, I guess we did a pretty good job so far exploring into We All Float, which, instead of being floating islands like I initially thought, it's just the monster just fucking floating up to the surface. So, regardless of that, this is Dirt Dragon, uh, saying, uh, see ya.